Delta State LFC Ogarefe. I've come to return all the glory to God for his faithfulness over my life. He terminated eight years' barrenness at my life in this exalted altar. I have been, I've been married for eight years, believing God for the fruits of the womb. At Shiloh 2021, in my zona center, I want to stay to the viewing center and watch. But one of our members there said, that, no, Mrs. Beauty, you have to come in Kenala. This time around, you need to be serious with God and left everything. Then I obeyed and met my pastor then, Mrs. Um, our resident pastor then, and he gave me, gave me anointing oil, and I came, I find my way to the sanctuary stand, and I served there. When I was serving there, a, an elderly woman said that, Madam, you want to serve here, and you want to receive your testimony. I said, yes. He said, don't buy any sachet water or can water. He said, drink from this where you are standing. Then I obey. I did. And I attend Father of Mother of Nation. And lo and behold, in 2023, uh, 2022, God visited me when it was almost Shiloh time at uh, and I said that I'm, I've come to return all the glory to God. And today I am here with God's sweet. I give glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Eight years barrenness terminated by the power of God. Praise the Lord. Shiloh 2023. I have come to return all the glory to the God of this commission for making every word I received from this altar. My name is Nenna Amichi. I have come to return all the glory to the God of this commission for making every word I received from this altar flesh, and the word became flesh. I joined this commission on plan. As I was told, I wanted my daughter to come to Faith Academy, and I said for that they said for me to for them to come to Faith Academy, they had to I had to be a member of this church, and I attended service. And the first service I attended, I said, no, I wasn't going to go back. I began to worship here. And I began to key into every prophetic word I heard. And I saw my faith go from level to level and from strength to strength. Prior to now, I had three daughters. And in one of the services, an elderly couple gave a testimony of how God blessed them with a son after three years. And I said to myself, I can't if God can do this for this couple. I'm younger. Why not me, Lord? I started attending Covenant Day of Fruitfulness and during Shiloh, I attend Father of Mother of Nations and bring my point of contact and also bring for my friends. Along the line, my friends were all visited. During Shiloh 2021, during Father of Mother of Nation class, I realized that this class is not a replaced class, and one is expected to graduate at the end of each class. And I said, it's not normal to have attended this class for 10 years. And I said humorously, Father, there's something called let my people go in university for those that keep reaching class, classes. And after, each, after spending 10 years, at least the university will let me go. Father, please let me go. And Mama said during that, Shiloh, that everyone that come here in Shiloh 2022 will return with their testimony or will come back pregnant. To the glory of God, May 2022, I became pregnant. And to the glory of God, on the 9th of January 2023, I get back to the set of twin baby boys. Chuemezo, God has fulfilled his promise. Devi and Chiamela, thank God. At 50 years, after 17 and a half years, I've come to return all the glory to the God of this commission who honored his word in my life. Praise the Lord. Twin baby boys at the age of 50, are you clapping for Jesus' is worthy? My name is Mrs. Safwa Kwekende. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's listen to this testimony. God of Bishop Oyedepo changed. My name is Afua, Mrs. Afua Kwekende. For marital delay, God of Bishop Oyedepo changed my story 2002 through 2003. I married this year. My husband built my own house for me, and he gave me this bouncing baby boy, Ileri Oluwa, Omo Folari, Omo Tolani. Praise the Lord. Marital delays shattered by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Je m'appelle Halime Zoe. Let's listen to this testimony. Je m'appelle Halime Zoe. 
de la chapelle de vainqueurs de Tchad, N'Djamena. Je suis ici pour rendre les actions de grâce à Dieu qui m'a guéri de trois ans de mal d'estomac qui s'est transformé en ulcère. I'm, I'm from Chapel, Chad. Je suis là pour retourner les actions de grâce à Dieu qui m'a guéri du mal du sein de trois ans. So I'm here to give glory to God because he healed me from three years of ulcer. Je, ça m'a amené, je ne pouvais pas manger, on m'alimentait avec les, les produits et il fallait une opération qui a duré six heures de temps. And many things I can't eat and I'm restricted with many foods. And they operated me for six hours. I was in the theater. Après, ils ont arrêté l'opération. Ils ont dit ils vont refaire dans six mois. They stopped the operation, the surgical operation. They said in six months later they will do it again. C'était en octobre et en décembre, j'étais à Chilo. J'ai confié la situation à Dieu à travers les prières. J'ai atteint l'école de guérison. And it was October. In December, I attended Chilo and I presented the case in the front. Before the Lord, and uh, I attended healing and deliverance class. Et à la gloire de Dieu, six mois après, quand je suis reparti, on a fait les examens, on a dit il n'y a plus rien, et l'opération a été annulée. To the glory of God, when I returned back home, six months later, I went through tests, analysis, and they realized that I will not be operated again. I'm totally healed. Je suis là pour retourner toute la gloire à Dieu. I'm here to return all the glory to God. Hallelujah. Surgical operation canceled by the power of God. Shiloh 2023. I am Dr. Mrs. Ikemefuna. I have come here on this exalted altar today to exalt the name of the Most High God of Shiloh for destroying over 40 years of untimely death in the family of my husband. There is no male born of my husband's family that lived up to 60 years. We came into this commission, killed into the prophetic words, built churches, got involved in soul winning, praying, prayer advancement, kingdom advancement prayers. Today, my husband is 62 years and counting. My daughter, Wina, here is a product of this commission. Nine years of multiple fibroids turned into a baby girl. The, the doctor said, she will not develop properly as other children do develop. But today, Wina has been developing properly without issues. She has also authored a book, God First. On Friday, on Friday, during the all night, during the all night service, the prophetic declaration came through Papa, and Papa said, somebody here is being healed of a growth in the marrow. People of God, that was me. On Monday, I went back and checked the test. There was no more growth. I have come to return all the glory to God of this commission. God of Shiloh is real. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Your name and what God has done. Shiloh 2023. I'm Mrs. Ekonti Savis Piercing from the Republic of Liberia. I am here to testify of God's goodness for terminating marital delay. I was born in a family where I noticed the women don't get married. And if they did, that was home. Nobody got married in church. The first person that ever got married in church died after he got married. That was my uncle. The second person on the day of the wedding, the wedding was canceled. 2015, when I was to get married, two weeks to my wedding, the wedding was canceled. 
I suffer from multiple setbacks, disgrace, and all kinds of financial troubles. I came to Shiloh 2016 with all kinds of problems, and I asked God, Lord, what is the cause? How can this be settled? And he told me to go to Ghana to see what he wanted me to show. But before then, he told me to live a satisfied life. That is, I should abstain from sexual immorality and walk in integrity. That was something hard because I was fornicating then. But when God spoke it, I said, but since that would be the way out, I'm going to key into it. I kept believing God by his grace. When I went to Ghana, James time, I saw what I saw and I knew only God who has saved me. I kept trusting God, winning souls personally, giving to the kingdom in every way, being a kingdom advancement promoter, home sell t-shirt. I just kept loving God. And I took all that marital issue behind me because God said in his time he was going to get me married. So I kept loving him, trusting him. But there are two words that kept my face going. One papa said, there is no star without his car. And the star of every star is sacrifice. And when Pastor David Gion said, obedience may be costly, but the end result is something that you can never deny. Those who are kept my faith going. I pray for friends and sisters that got married, but yet I was still married. But lo and behold, last year God showed up. And my introduction was done. This year I got gloriously, customarily, and statutorily wedded. And not just that, I got married to a father a friend and a reputable statement in my country. I give God all the glory for what he has done. Marital delay overturned by the hand of God. My name is Dignes Comfort Solomon, LFC Uyo. I'm here to return thanks unto God of Shiloh for destroying the hole in the heart of my daughter. God of Shiloh destroyed the hole in the heart by Shiloh Mantra. 2018, my child was five years old. She was diagnosed of hole in the heart. And I disagree with the doctor. All many doctors came to test her. And they said they have to do the scan. And when the scan result came in, that, that is where they will give me 24 hours to take her and fly her out. I turned up to God of Shiloh. I used Shiloh mantle. I struck on her. I said, God of Shiloh, show yourself. I tied the mantle on her waist. When the day came, they took her to the sky to do everything that is necessary. And both doctor will look confused in the room. They turned and looked at each other. They could not say anything. I, they said, what is going on? I said, God of Shiloh is doing the scanning by himself. They looked, they could not see. And after the final result, they said they could not find the hole in the heart again. I am here to return thanks to God. Today, that child is 10 years old. She should have been here with me. She's rising exam. I'm saying, Lord, to you be old again. Will you give your hand to Jesus for all of these testimonies, breakthroughs, healings, deliverances, and turnarounds? Your testimony is next in the name of Jesus Christ. Will you make that hand bigger for Jesus? Is what your praise.